some cooked peppers. Spread these out a little bit. Just gonna add a little bit more taco seasoning onto these peppers and ground beef. Now I'm coming in with my Mexican style blend cheese. This is just the, oh no, this is the Kroger brand, not the Walmart brand. Now I'm just gonna bring my measuring cup in here. I've got my paste picante salsa. I'm gonna put in, yeah, like a little bit more than a cup of that. And then I've got my Tostitos salsa con queso. Queso con salsa? Salsa con queso. Yep. And I'm just gonna stir these together. We're gonna make a nice, delicious, kind of cheesy sauce. Ooh, look at that, that looks beautiful. In fact, I'm gonna put a little bit more of these cheese in, but of course you can kind of do this to your liking, to your preference. If you want it to be more salsa-y or you want it to be more cheesy. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that right on top here. Yum. Just a few more Doritos in that interim layer. Just perfect, just for a little bit of crunch. I'm gonna add the rest of my ground beef. This was two pounds, babe? Yeah, two pounds. Two pounds. Just because we like this really meaty, you could always make these layers, you know, shorter, smaller if you preferred. Let's come back in with the rest of our peppers here. Just spread those out. Yum. Just a little bit more. That taco seasoning, I gotta do it like that. I don't know why, but you point it down, nothing comes out. A little bit more of the sauce. Ooh, look how beautiful that looks. So good. Delicious. Now I'm just gonna finish this up with a little bit more of my Mexican cheese blend. Just gonna spread this out. And the rest of my Dorito crumbs right on top there. Wish I had a little bit more Doritos, but this is still gonna be great. And I forgot to say, I lined the bottom of this with a pizza crust. I actually didn't use Pil Pillsbury. The kind I'd use were gluten-free, they were round, they were uh, organic, non-GMO. Um, but I had this one just to show you that I used a pizza crust on the bottom. Alrighty, I'm gonna place this in the oven. We're gonna cook this for about 20 minutes at 450. Alrighty, y'all. We ended up cooking this for only 15 minutes. We checked on it. I did a 10 minute and then I did another like five. Um, I did cover it for the second half, but maybe cover it for uh, the 10 because I got a little crunchy on top here, but I'm really excited. Ooh la la. Oh boy. Probably need to get a smaller piece here so it could be supported, supported by my crust but I cannot wait to try this. All right, let's get down under here. A pizza crust. Oh, fabulous. Those fabulous layers, wow, look at that. That looks so good. Oh my goodness. You know what, Marty? I'm gonna get a little salsa too. I got Ooh. sour cream, y'all, but I'm gonna put some salsa. Alrighty, just a little salsa on top there. Yummy, yummy. Dollop a daisy. Uh-oh. Oh, she's a brand new Daisy, y'all. I don't know why. <laughs> Rookie. She was coming out inconsistent. Oh, I cannot wait to taste this. Oh my goodness. Our pizza crust, our Doritos. I put those veggies in there. We've got our meat in here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. With the veggies. It's perfect, really delicious. I'm sorry, I didn't want to look straight into the camera with the food in my mouth while I was chewing. It's kind of what happens at this point. Well, I've been getting comments about okay. how disgusting I am, so. <laughs> I was trying to turn my head away, but Marty was waving at me that I needed to turn my face to the camera. Anyway, this is really good. Y'all gotta try it.